Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of 2022 SEMA show and US Radiator had a very cool 1956 Chevy pickup truck in their booth, I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Ricardo, thanks so much for giving me uh, some time this morning, brother. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Luck. Yeah, no, my pleasure. We were both out there, uh, friends of US Radiator and Bryce Thomas. Yes, great people. You know, great spot. I love it. I think it was one of my best CMOS. Yeah, right on. And that truck looked good sitting there. Oh, yes. Uh, we did great work. It was teamwork. And the idea was just to bring out all the attention to U.S. Radiator booth. Right on. Tell me a little bit about the truck. Well, this is a 56 Chevy truck. It was sitting in my shop for seven years and, uh, and now I was building cars for myself and I decided to uh, do something for my wife, and she's always there for me and supporting the shop for many, many years. It came to my mind to build a truck for her, and we named the truck Monique. It's a 1956 Chevy truck. Tell me some of the things you did to it. Starting from the front, uh, we did a custom grill. It's a fully custom. Uh, all built it with stainless steel mesh. We also... Um, did a one piece front end. It's a lot of, of the modifications that you can barely notice on the truck, it, but it got all French and smoothed out. We tuck in the uh, the bumper, uh, we narrow them and tuck them in closer to the body. We also um, make sure on every body line and every gap, make sure it was gonna be as close as we can, 99% perfect. What color is it? We use uh, House of Color paint products. They sponsor our build this year. We start with a custom mix color, starting with the uh, Orion Silver and a little bit of graphite with the FHRM2. Is there a name of the color now? Can you get it or are you going to keep it a custom we, mix? We, we still, no, we're still working on getting the name. All right. House of Color will, will release the, uh, the formula in the next probably month or two. Cool. You think they'll call it a Monique? And that'll be a good idea. Yeah. We can call it a name. Yeah. <laughs> Monique Graphite or Monique Gray, something like that. And there Monique you go. Silver, I mean, yeah. no, that's it's, how the ideas it, come, on, come it's a, together. It's a beautiful color, just like the rest of the truck. Yes, we did a, uh, I mean, definitely dedicated body work, a lot of prep work, and it was probably on the body and paint, I would say, close to. Uh, I would say 1,500 hours man labor. Right on. It shows. What about the uh, red? Is that? Well, um, <laughs> we wanted to integrate the red. That there's where Monica comes in. She uh, actually picked the exterior color and the interior color. Red is one of her favorite colors. And uh, I definitely wanted to integrate the, the, the red. So with the engine, with the interior, and we did the, uh, the wood bed with the candy apple red uh that that's that was outstanding yeah no i agree with you it really makes pop the, the uh, body color needed a little splash of color in that red right. the interior you know when you get back to the wood in the bed then it's got you know a candy apple kind of a look to it back there yes and that's where actually real she really likes the candy apple reds and i said well i have to integrate somehow the candy apple right here I started the wood with the uh, red stain. It was from House of Color, Euro Red, but it was just red. So I decided to play a little bit with the candy apple red. And yeah, definitely four coats of candy apple red, clear coated. Man, that makes a really big band right there. I agree, it pops. What about wheels? Well, wheels, it's, I've been loyal to uh, Bunny Wheels. Bunny Wheels, uh, uh, they're being sponsored for our build. Uh, this is the fourth year in a row while doing SEMA with Dan. Uh, we have 19 by 8 in the front, the Billy wheels. It's a brush aluminum wheel with polished lips. And then we have 20 by 12 uh, rear wheels. Same finish. And if people want to keep up with uh, what you got going on, what's the best way to do that? They want to look for customs by Lopez. Pretty simple. We have two platforms on uh, social media which is uh instagram uh look by customs by lopez 
and Facebook, it'll be the same thing, Customs by Lopez. And obviously, if you if if you guys Google Customs by Lopez, it'll it'll pop right up. Right on. Anything else I need to know about the truck? One of the things that I really love it's it's driving the truck. It's super spectacular handling the performance. All the suspension it's coming from Right Take. Right Take they always been supporting our our build all the way coilovers, four link, uh, to a tubular IFA arm. We have a power steering. We use Magna Flow as exhaust system. Headman headers, they're being supporting also our builds. We have a 383 stroker with a fuel injection from Phytec, which it's something that it makes this truck around like, like a champ. This is the second big show that we do with the truck. I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do three three more uh, coming down the road. We have Grand National Roadster Show. We have Pismo Beach, and I have the good guys. After that, it, it's a truck that my wife really wants to drive. Obviously, we can drive, but she wants to drive it. I don't blame her. If I owned it, I'd want to drive it too, brother. Well, again, I appreciate you giving me some time this morning. It's an absolutely beautiful truck out there at the U.S. Radiator Bryce Thomas booth at the 2022 SEMA show. And, um, yeah, before we run, anything else? Well, I look forward to see everybody next year. We're building three cars for 2023. And one of my favorites, it will be uh, the 37 Nash. People can see it right now, the rendering on my Instagram. And thank you very much for having us on your blog. And uh, well, I'll be happy to be one of them, one of one of your beauty cars that you always have there. <laughs> no, brother, my the pleasure is all mine. And again, a beautiful build. Thanks for giving me some time this morning. No, thank you very much, and I really appreciate it, Scott. So there you go, a 1956 Chevy pickup truck from the 2022 SEMA show in Customs by Lopez, the U.S. Radiator Bryce Thomas booth. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.